Hey, and welcome to another installment of LearningOSX.com. Today we're going to uh, uh, talk about something uh, I think is pretty cool. It's uh, how to rip a DVD onto your Mac uh, using some uh, great free software. Um, you might wonder uh, why you'd want to do that. Um, and for me, uh, I travel a lot, so a good um, reason for me to do it uh, is to take my DVD collection, um, movies that I might want to watch on a trip, rip them to uh, my Mac into a f uh, smaller format so that way it doesn't take up a lot of space on my Mac uh, drive and I also don't have to carry a lot of discs around with me when I'm traveling. Uh, another reason you might want to do it, a uh, similar reason if you have kids and you want to, uh, if you're going on vacation, um, you know, I'll often just have them watch movies on the Mac instead of uh, on my MacBook instead of having to uh, bring a portable DVD player. So it's a handy um, uh, thing to be able to do. And we're not going to go through the full uh, process of copying a, a video because it does take some time even on my souped up MacBook Pro. It takes uh, probably about uh, an hour, 45 minutes to an hour to copy a uh, two hour movie. But we'll walk through the basic uh, the basic steps to get you started and then you can uh, try it on your own and you'll see just how easy it is to rip a DVD to your Mac. So let's get started. Um, on learningosx.com uh, in line with this post you'll find directions for how to download and install Handbrake, the application that we're going to use today. Uh, Handbrake does a great job of uh, taking the information off the DVD and then compressing it uh, that is converting it and making it smaller uh, to fit a number of different uh, formats. So if you have an iPhone or a PSP or if you just or Apple TV or you just want to run it on your Mac, uh, Handbrake is, uh, uh, is capable of, uh, of doing all that. So let's get started. We're going to launch Handbrake here. And when you launch it, the first thing it does is it asks you for uh, a source. You can see this little dialog here that's prompting you for a, a um, uh, installation. And I took one of our kids mu movies, The Ugly Dachshund, and stuck it in the DVD drive. You can see over here it's listed in um, uh, under my devices. And the way a DVD is structured, all of the video information is under this Video TS folder. So you're going to just select that and click Open. And now, while um, once you do that, uh, Handbrake starts looking at the disk to find out which uh, section on the, uh, of the disk has the actual movie, uh, because some DVDs have additional video content, uh, extra features that you may not necessarily want to copy. So here we go. It's just walk through and it the disk, and it's found a title that is one hour and thirty three minutes and twenty seven seconds long. Most likely, that's our movie. We're going to just copy it right onto the desktop here. Um, you can stick it in a bunch of locations. Uh, you might want to just drop it in your movies folder. Uh, you're free to do that too. But for us, we'll just put it on right on our desktop. So on this side here, this presets. There's a number of built-in formats, um, so this is really uh, pretty much a plug-and-play type of uh, program. Um, you can select one of the predefined formats, and if you get really crazy and you want to uh, make changes, you're, you're free to do that as well. Everything down here, your video, audio, chapters, it's best to just leave those alone until you've learned how to use the program. Um, so if we were going to target this movie for an iPod, we'd select the iPod or iPhone and iPod Touch and it would make a file of suitable size. Uh, but for us we're going to just play it on the um, play it back on the PC. So we just click normal. And then once we've done that, we're ready to get started. Uh, which basically just amounts to clicking the start button. The disk spins up a little bit. Uh, you probably uh, might be able to hear that. Uh, through the microphone and the process gets started. As you can see down here it's beginning the encoding process. It's going to take the DVD information and convert it into an MP4 file. This MP4 file will be able to uh, play through iTunes uh, but you can also play it through uh, my favorite video player VLC which I talk about in another post. Um, 
So as you can see here, it's going to take roughly one hour and five minutes to copy this one hour and 33 minutes and 27 seconds uh, of movie. And while I can uh, generally uh, manage uh, small talk, I don't think you want to listen to me ramble on for another hour and um, seven minutes about the benefits of handbrake. So we're going to we're going to stop here. Um, so I want to thank you uh, again for tuning in. I hope this uh, information was helpful. If you want to learn more about uh, Handbrake and how to use your Mac uh, in, in all sorts of cool ways, visit us at drumroll uh, learningosx.com.